Welcome back to Anderson's apartment. Sneaking suspicion we've been here before. I'm going to see if my connection holds. I'm so desperately hoping that it does, as I have not played Mass Effect in far too long, and I have missed. Oh, have I missed! <laughs> that it doesn't uh, begin to slowly destroy itself in a slow spiral. I believe it said as I just loaded in that we have a new message waiting for us. I forget where to find such things. Glyph? Are you holding Commander, my messages? If you would like to begin the party, you will need to purchase supplies on the strip first. I have already placed credits in your account for this purpose. Thank you, Glyph. That's very generous of you, Sugar Daddy. But you're not going to you're not going to list the supplies for me. You're just going to vaguely mention that you need to purchase supplies. And I'm supposed to now do math. You want me, Commander Catherine Shepard, to do math to figure out how many credits you've given me and what that can purchase. It's too early for that sort of thing, Glyph, and you should know me better. You heard, Glyph. To party, you have to go purchase strips. It's true. That is that is the list that he mentioned. <laughs> so where, where are my messages? Maybe it's just like an email, and I have to find a personal computer? You there. Messages? Yay! What I get? Ooh, ooh, so much. Start at the bottom. <laughs> From Armax Arsenal Arena team, or ah, dear Commander Shepard, we here at Armax Arsenal are huge fans of yours. Stop, and we can't tell you how much we value your efforts in the fight against the Reapers. It's a little disappointing that you can't tell me. In an effort to raise both awareness and your hackles and morale here on the Citadel, we've recently reskinned Gross, the holographic enemies in our simulator, to look like Cerberus troops. We got a big surge of viewer interest when we added Geth enemies a few years back after their attack on the Citadel, and we're adding Reaper forces as well. I don't think it's quite right to capitalize at this exact moment on the slow genocide of the galaxy, but good to know, Armax Arsenal. We understand how busy you are, but if you ever feel like unwinding on shore leave and giving our viewers just a taste of what a real military veteran can do, we would love to have you come compete. You've got a complimentary pass waiting for you whenever you're interested. Mm. Complimentary pass. Good to know. From Javik. Commander, I have received an interesting proposal. No, I was going to! That I wish to discuss with you. Meet me outside the casino, at the far end of what these primitives call the Silver Sun Strip. Although it isn't made of silver, nor near a sun. Stupid primitives. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Lunch. From Samantha Trainer. Aw, Commander. If you'd like to meet up for lunch, I'll be in the Citadel Arcade area. Hopefully see you there. I am a bit peckish. From Edie. As part of my education, I think it would be appropriate if you and I participated in rituals found in all human cultures. I don't know about that. I don't know about the rituals of all human cultures. Reply, and we can meet at the new apartment. 
What if it, what if she wants to wear like fanny packs? I can't participate in that kind of culture. I got something to show you from James Vega. Hey, next time you're in that sweet new apartment with time to kill, give me a call. Got something I'd like to show you. Where's the email from the foreign prince needing help to transfer money? <laughs> I think there might have been one. That sounds familiar in this universe. Housewarming? From Talezora. Shepard, next time we're on the Citadel, I'd love to come by. No rush, but it's nice to have a place there that you can call home. And it wouldn't be home without you, Talezora. Please stop by. Miranda Lawson. I have something important to tell you. I need to do this in person. Can you meet me in the commons? I will send a nav point. No vids this time, I promise. If you want to send me vids, Miranda, you are always, always welcome. From Lee Riley. My squad continues to defend the fuel sector on Sion. The Reapers seem intent on taking it down. Not on my watch. No, no, no. We will hold the line. That must be like... You know, there's like a multiplayer component where you compete for fuel resources. Is that, is that this? We should go check it out regardless. Catalog. Mm. I'd love to spruce up my bathroom. That is nice that after, I'm assuming, after you purchase new furniture, you can switch back and forth at any time. In case you hate it. In case you hate the choices that you've made. And the fact that you chose them. We would like to offer an extended warranty for your Normandy spacecraft. We've been trying to contact you about an extended warranty. Here's a tip. Stop trying to contact me. All right, that should be all of our messages. We already read all these data pads from Anderson. Lovely stuff. Lovely man. Will not put us through it again. Uh, which Amanda, which supplies do I like need, to Cliff? The party, you will need to purchase supplies on the strip first. I I am not going to strip for you, Cliff. Stop it. All right. Purchase party supplies. We will follow our waypoint to its inevitable end. I am out on the front lines against the Reapers. How did you get this comm channel? It's very important that we speak to you about your extended warranty. I'm, I'm dying right now, so I'm going to call you back. Alright, I forget what we bought last time. It was Vibrant Kitchen, for sure. I'm using the credits that Cliff put in my account for the party. I think we got the cozy sof. The old Kosovi. Um, elegant Ottoman? Yes. Because I love it when you take the backs off of things. Mm, that's my favorite. And artistic shelving. Those were my sneaky little shopping purchases. I hope that the audio has been cooperating. I gave everything in the house a small kick in the pan. A gentle, loving, non-abusive kick in the pants. And then I screamed at it in a, in a manner most foul. <laughs> I've been playing Starfield, and now it's just my, like, second nature. Every time I pass through a door, or get near a door, or round a corner, to immediately quicksave it. Not quite as, quite as desperately important here. Trying to suppress the urge. So Samantha said she was waiting in the arcade to have lunch with me. I know that Zaid, from past life, which did not happen, is also waiting for us in the arcade. Did Javik say he was by the casino at the end of the strip? I hope we catch him before he's reached the end of the strip, because I like the, like the build-up tease of it. I don't just want to walk in on him completely nude at the end of 
the strip. Samantha? Are you wearing a disguise? Are you this man with big shoulder pads? If I come up and, and kiss this man with big shoulder pads, do you promise that it's you, Samantha? It's too much of a risk. Alright, she does not seem to be on the lower level. Wait for trainer. Ah! Uh, uh, she's mid stairs, apparently. Bit of a safety risk. Me in my highest of heels, but oh well. Uh, Zaid. Your mind, you bastard. God damn Said it. talk care of him first. That's not a thing. Zaid? Over here, Shepard. This thing is fucking impossible. I'm playing claw games. Doing? There was a kid here, sniveling brat, spending all his credits, crying. So you thought you'd get a prize for him? This part. He asked. Looked simple enough. God damn it. Where's the kid? What do I care? Got any credit, Shepard? Uh, let me handle this for you. Here, let me. Let me show you why they call me Commander Claw. Beginner's luck? Yes, in this instance, Commander. It's obviously rigged somehow. Pad. But I just... Doesn't roll off the tongue. Never mind. I'm going to hunt down the shit for brains inventor of this crooked game and pull his inspiration out through his asshole. Probably shit some hands smart ass before and after that. I'm going back in. Credits. You insist. I don't care about that kid. I want that damn prize. All right. He's invested now. Here you go, sweetheart. Okay, Zaid, where to? How should I know? What do you feel like? Apollos? Casino? More claw? I, I've not been to either of those places, but yes, I, fe I feel like both of those. Let's, I'm assuming drink, and then spend all of our money on illegitimate games. Uh, no more claw. No more claw for you. I can see in your eyes that it's just on the verge of becoming a desperate. Zaid, no. will another victory ever match the one you just experienced? You're right. Guess you've been around that block a few times. A few too many. Come on, you're buying. Yes, I am. Okay. I'm sure you just saw my bank account when I was purchasing couches and ottomans and such, and I have no real excuse to talk my way out of buying you a couple of drinks. We should be able to wait for Samantha. I love that Starfield autosave because... mostly because I accidentally whip out my weapon a lot and blast random NPCs in the face. That could be considered a crime in certain jurisdictions. <laughs> I'm so glad there are other folks out there starfielding. I've been having entirely too much fun with it. I'm wasting entirely too much of my life. But it can't be considered wasting if you're having so much fun that your mind is being blown out of your ear holes. It's very, very finicky. I'll just go, I'll go around. How's that sound? And then it won't be. Wait for trainer. She seems to be engaged in a bit of ranked competition. Either that or she's just catching up. Some a damage for such a tiny little ship. There goes Samantha. Brilliant endgame. Excellent use of the Bay Lucian gambit. Is this All of the rich folk approve. It's called Cape Yakshi, Blade of the Night Winds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. 
It's fine. So sorry. I entered the tournament blade of the Lara. night wins in. I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. Oh, don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. It just got dramatic. To Sousa. <laughs> Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? Oh, I love I this. I always take them sooner or later. Polgara to Sousa. I say She's frigate. She's me out of four tournaments. You've grown as a person. It's sort of a, sort of a strange thing to say, but... Uh, yeah, you you can you can do this. D do this. Specialist. Need me to Commander. be rough with you, some Kick her ass. Roger that. <laughs> oh, I wish you just had a button to be able to do that in normal dialogue. Oh, damn it! Ah! So much for your frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. You got this, Samantha. A few more centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that warship. My Every day she practices for the great as we thinkers. actively fight a war. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maiden's tactics and strategy through this game. Yes, this this was my point here. She she lives what you only treat as a tiny little game at your fingertips. So your job is playing games? Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations. Oh, yes. I see. Special I was trainer mistaken. here personally saved Grissom Academy. More than a dozen students owe her their lives. I her her confidence. She's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Kick her in the confidence Traded bucket. Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Be careful what you say. You're gonna get the. I hope so, yeah. Oh, that one looked devastating. Thanks, Did she have it hooked up right to um, her beehole? I apologize again. Why was it, lunch? Is it so painful? Oh, for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. I mean, I guess that adds to the whole thrill of the game if it's hooked up right to your beehole, but I wouldn't I don't think that's how they suggest you do it. That was even better than lunch. I'm so proud of Samantha, and I hope that when I return to the Normandy, her many, many trophies are displayed centrally for all to see. Alright, we may be done with the arcade. Sorry, sir, I pinched your buttocks. That was an accident. Yeah, let's go with that. You. I. I don't mean to criticize, but the games, they're this way. You are playing with the door. That's just the entrance door. I think you're confused about how arcades work. Take a prize, you need my business. Good night. In these times, don't the you trust. All right. We bought our furniture. We hit up the arcade. We watched Samantha electrocute some beehole. What a day! What a day we're having. That's the arena that I heard the speaks of. Newly reskinned uh, Cerberus enemies. It's bad enough to have, like, Cerberus man tied up in your basement and you're slowly skinning him. But then to take one of his friend's skin and stitch it back onto his body afterwards, it's a little too much. I'm. I can't approve of that morally. I have to assume that's what they mean. I am gonna save it. Just in case. I have become paranoid. So I don't know if Silver Coast is the casino? It kind of sounds like it. And what is, what is this? Castle? Arcade. Ah, it's just the top level of the 
place we just came out of. Good. <laughs> Good. Yes, I can read. I've learned to read recently. Your job is playing games. What are you, a streamer? Oh, sick burn. Sick burn. Wait, what am I? Where am I? It's not my buddy Krogan, is it? You look very similar to Rex, and yet I can't speak with you. So maybe this is just a, a terrible misunderstanding, sort of a waking call to me that I need to work on my racial sensitivity when it comes to the Krogan. No, a waking call? Is that what they call it? Is that what they call wake-up calls? Mm. You know, some people say that Krogan can't be sexy. To that I say, you're wrong. You are wrong, you fool. Just gotta drink it in for a second. Alright, we're done. We're done. So we have plenty of casino games, in addition to all of our newly unlocked arcade games. But they are very desperate to get me to stay here on shore leave. This is a ploy to lose the war no with the Reavers. Fair warning. And frankly, it is working. Excuse me. I lost the ability to breathe for a small you moment. Come on, come on. Alright. So you see Javik is around here somewhere, but he must be down below. If there's one thing I appreciate, it's when Javik is below me. Tell me about the roulette. Place chips on one of the following bets. Mm -hmm. Single numbers return the highest payouts. I bet they do. Ranged bets return the lowest payout. You may place up to three bets on the roulette table, at which point the wheel spins. You can place more than one chip on the same bet. Bets cannot be taken back once placed. It's time to go care for birds. Good, good luck. I hope that you comb your ostrich successfully. Perhaps I bring you with. Ah, I would be honored to comb the ostrich with you. <laughs> it's so nice to see you guys. I'm so happy this is working, at least for the moment. Having said that out loud, I've definitely jinxed us. We gotta play some roulette. I'm in. So single numbers, um, one, seven, and two. Place your bed. Why oh. one lit up for a second and gave me some false hope. Um, next bed, five. Good luck. So close. One number away. Oh. Okay, now I'm just I'm I'm desperate. It's the end of the night. I've had a few too many apple teenies, and I just want to do a full ass range. So anything black, uh, uh, seventeen. Six. I am really good at roulette. Seems like a personal, personal attack on me. Ooh, tough luck. What did you win? Zero. <laughs> okay. Thanks for taking my money. Ooh, that was. <laughs> I thought I was like a hundred, a couple hundred. I was throwing down thousands of credits, a cozy couch worth of credits, near every time. Okay, thank you. Uh, so about the war effort, guys. They, they opened a casino near my home, and what happened was, I took all of the funds we were supposed to spend on Scud missiles and such, and I just... Well, I blew the hell out of it. I blew the hell out of the war effort. 
It is so nice to see you there. You and your jaundiced hand. What pleasure. You're not feeding friends to birds. Oh, come on. You can feed a little bit of Locke to the birds. He's not going to miss it. And here I was going to ask you what the word is today. Oh, no. You've gotten it started in my head. And it is okay. indeed the word. All right. Wait. Is this for Joker? I was gonna say, is this for Javik? It is not. But I would love to speak with Jeff. Party supplies! Aha! One hundred credits worth of party supplies. I was... I was prepared to spend a lot more than that. I, I just blew like six thousand dollars worth of roulette bets. Rule bets. They call them. Drinks are on me. But okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take the party supplies. And hope that they don't spoil in my tight, tight bodice as I run around. Joker, join me, won't you? I was here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You see, I was down by the docking bay near CSEC headquarters. He remembers <laughs> it like it was yesterday. Commander Shepard is chasing the council! This is our chance! He's doing the voices. Oh, shit. Cerberus! I'm so happy. Ha ha ha! It's Joker! He can barely walk! How's he going to stop oh, us? These, <laughs> these meanies. They deserve nothing but the cruelest death. Like this. Oh, hell yeah. It's joking time. <laughs> Underestimate Joker! Oh no! Last words yes, as they died. You were. We were fools to underestimate Joker. Squishy. <laughs> oh, this makes me so happy. That's right! You just landed on the island of Dr. Me! Not as cool as you think it is, Joe. And that's pretty much how it happened. Which is why you should comp my drinks. I can verify. No. That is how it happened. Aw, oh, come on! No. I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. Okay, trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here... <laughs> uh, yes, Shepherd. that is exactly Hi. how it happened. Right down to the really bad pun you made at the end there. The island of Dr. Me. Really, Joker? That's what we're going with? I'm Commander Shepard. wasn't slapping Joker, that was just a, it was like Jeff an ant. Morrow is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him and their still lives. Is Myself included. Stop it, you. I'm you get so out of sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Yeah. Ah. Uh, free drinks. Thanks, Commander. Oh, anytime. You can pay me back. Later. Happy to lie to you for free drinks. Lie for you? Lie, lie with you for free drinks? No, that's the. I'm not happy to do that. That's the where I draw the line. You have deeply hurt my hands' feelings, and I suggest you apologize post haste. Now, hands. I. What I said was out of line, and I shouldn't have. And I. I will never say anything about your slightly off color. Um, again, and except for this time, th during the apology, this time, I will never, after this, from here forward, insult you in such a way. Please accept my humble apologies. Thank you. For your consideration. Alright, now let's not laugh at him. Let's not just immediately laugh at him. Just because... He's doing too much. Let's be honest. Let's not laugh at him because he's doing too much. Because he's really... He's putting himself out there. And that's more than I can say about me most days. So he should feel proud 
about what he and his exuberant knees are accomplishing. But if you wanted to let out just a, a tight little chuckle, I think that'd be okay. Let's see if I can do any better. Oh yeah, see, I'm just doing enough. Just enough. I'm not going too crazy with my knees. Joining the inch inch. All right. Anyone else in the casino? Javik, where are you, my sweet? I long to run my fingers across the many strange, sharp alien ridges of your back. Suspicious device. Hmm. Suspicious device. Fennec, hit the calm. Okay. Tiana, distract the bouncer. Urch, you take the vault. Avoid the thermal sensors. They trigger the lockdown. Are you heisting the casino that I'm in right now? And that'll alert security. Verk, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. I mean, you're you're announcing your plan right in the middle Oops, of the lobby. I seem to have the wrong casino. Kasumi? Hey, get back here, you. Take a walk, guys. Just because I'm hanging out doesn't mean you can't rob the place. Yeah, don't don't worry about it. I know exactly what you're doing here, and more than that, I deeply approve. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. Stop. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. The casual way. I'll take those credits, thank you. And it's not like the only Everyone gets jack So you're robbing the rich to help the poor. I'm doing what I do. That's why she's wearing Raiding that hood. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper held locations is fun. But oodle lolly, oodle lolly. Stealing? Golly, what it's a who I am. Without it, I. It's a weird By combination way, of riffs. Are you gonna call security? Hmm. Not a bit. Welcome to your little playground. Rob them rich. Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. Come on, guys. Show's on. Excuse me. Is there a problem? Nope. No problem at all. I don't see a problem here. No. I see no problem. I love Kasumi. <clears throat> Sad she wasn't more involved in the story of this one, so it's nice to get any glimpse of her that is possible. Alright, still no Javik. We found our suspicious device. Where are you hiding? You gorgeous 50,000 year old man. Kasumi's just left their full drinks over here. One of them in quite a precarious position. I hope the space lid is screwed on tight, or we are definitely going to have leakage. I tell you what, give me some tips and maybe we could team up. Tip one, yeah. you'll get yourself kicked out of here talking like that. It's the Shell's game, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Are you, are you talking to these guys? Because you are not facing them. <laughs> Who are you talking to? So touchy. Just asking. I'll give you some tips. If you if you let me interact with you, I've got tips. I happen to be renowned for my roulette decision making skills. Oh, you wanted to make money. Well then I I can't help you. I can't. Back room? Mmm, I can smell the 50,000-year-old alien man. I, he's right behind this door. Let me through, you beefcakes. You beautiful, beautiful beefcakes. I need to get through here to my man. <sighs> Never mind, then. You keep my man to yourself, beefcakes. You can hit them with a warp field. The humans just keep throwing out singularities. But, you know, if you say anything, you're the bad guy. I am. I think the not seen. 
whatever it is that I am missing. And I wish that I were. <coughs> Excuse me. Goodness. There's a cute little frog in my throat. Maybe if I just keep dancing? If I just never stop dancing, maybe he'll come to me? Probably just to, to ask me politely to stop dancing. But mission accomplished, either way. Get out of here, frog! I don't think there are any other levels. It just seems to be the, the entrance and the upstairs, downstairs. We have fairly Seriously. thoroughly searched it, so I maybe there's like another casino? I do yeah. not know where Javik is. Is there a fish? Aww, gorgeous. Do you think fish that are like in a pond indoors are happy, generally? Do you think fish need like sunlight, fresh air on the surface of the water to be be truly happy? I always felt kind of bad. Like, aquariums are a separate thing somehow. But making a fake pond inside a building and forcing them to live in it, that just seems it seems weird to me. No funny business. Maybe he's like near the casino. Just outside. Having a... Having a Damn it, Jeff! <laughs> He was right here the entire time. All right, you beautiful man, tell me. Tell me what you want from me. <laughs> Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? there to keep the horse company. Oh. I have been asked to take part in a feat. I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. How? Who says it will? Clothed. Oh, Commander Shepard, I didn't realize you were coming too. Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. I Attention! Often do. The Prothean is on set. Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. All right, places everyone. Is that quickly, the stunt quickly. double that they got Cue for the me? Backdrop. He's a little bit fuzzier than I was expecting, and also and a man. Action! Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. I guess we're, the we're urgent doing this. hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. <laughs> but there is hope. That was too really urgent. And you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Yeah, kind of. Who... Who wrote this script? No, we'll play along. Yes. Yeah. He was in the freezer, right behind the Varen roast. Right where I left him. Ah, you die now! Not yet! That line comes later! The Vulture Counselor will kindly refrain good energy. from further interruptions. I believe I've been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. Now then, O oh wise Prothean Elder, what wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. It is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear mm. adds spice. Just that little tinge of fear. Tasty stuff. Did someone say Protean? This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Blasto! About time you showed up! We're in, a bla we're in Blasto 7? Yes. If only someone had warned us about them years ago! This one tried. This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory. Uh, actually, that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one Hanar. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that partner? far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war. Think of the children. Think of you all of the children. Your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you 
would prefer to be boiled or fried. Rocket, no like you! This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. The Spectre Club? Is that is that what it is? Don't call Blasto Seven an idiot. That's not kind. But yes, I I am in the club. I I invented this club, kind of. It was actually invented by a Salarian man. It's a long story. I am a I've Spectre. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite Four Thousand Deluxe. This one is a Seven Thousand. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the air? That's why they call it Blasto. Out. We don't have a prop for that. They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Oh no! Reapers are attacking the city. Ah! Ah! Cue the stunt double. Oh, nice. Line. Have a bonus. Oh, he'll die now. Oh no! The hey. Vulture Counselor is indoctrinated! This one is the hero of the city. Kept up that energy the whole this time. This one has an incendiary projectile with the Counselor's name on it. Uh, this one is the hero of the Citadel. I'll handle it. I don't, I don't know this why that's a good insists. paragon this option. This one doesn't care. To try to steal this the spotlight from Blasto? I don't mind if Blasto has the spotlight. May we go now, Commander? <clears throat> There's no need for the film to be historically Strike accurate. Strike Tell Cassie we'll need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. <laughs> Love the fact that they're just taking my adventures and reworking them so that a jellyfish performed all of my feats of heroism. I could not be happier. Honestly makes me glad. Actor. Hey, buddy. Informative. With the production of Francis Kidd's All L4 Hamlet coming to a close, I am now available. Sincere okay. request. Right up in the folds. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. The subtitle said, Cue the stunt double, but the Salarian said, Kill the stunt double. <laughs> he did. Get a good smack in there. Hmm. The name like Smuckers. Spread out on the floor like a tasty jam. Uh, tell me more about this production of Hamlet. I'm here for you. Whisper it. Whisper it in this ear. For me. Tragically, I am dead, Horatio. Wretched queen, have you. You that look pale and tremble at this jam. Love this man. That are but mutes for audience to this act. Had I but time, as this fell sergeant death the emotional is resonance the of the bard's oh, famous words. You, but let it has never been a better telling. Tragically, Horatio, I am dead. Thou livest. Report me and my cause a right to be unsatisfied. <laughs> the addition of his little precursor things like tragically Horatio I am dead it's just easier to understand the complexity of Shakespearean works Mournfully, oh God Horatio what a wounded name things standing thus unknown shall I leave behind me if thou didst known ever things hold me in thy us. heart clean up after yourself felicity a while and in this harsh world, draw thy breath in pain to tell my story. Tragically. Oh, I die, Horatio. The potent poison quite o'ercrows my spirit. I cannot live to hear the news from England. But I do prophesy the election lights on Horton Rock. He has my you prophecy it? Voice. So tell him. With the occurrence more and less which have solicited, heartbreakingly, the rest is silence. Oh, bravo! Bravo! You've nailed it. You are definitely going to get the part. 
Spin around. Let me give you a quick shoulder massage to soothe your nerves before the big audition. You've got this, boy. You've got this. All right, who else is on the strip? Who else is stripping? We haven't been inside the arena. There might be a chum or two in there. Otherwise, we may have explored all the buildings. We have our party supplies. Whenever we are ready for things to begin in earnest. I know they mentioned you had to get the party supplies and you also had to invite everyone individually. But I don't know how to invite them. But I hope to find this out. I can't wait till that Blasto 7 comes out. I'll look at my performance in awe. Even though I was a little bit hoggy with my, my screen time. And I'd like to genuinely apologize to Blasto. I already looked up here. I recognized that door where I learned how to read. So let's take a peek in the arena, just in case. The invites might be in the apartment. Fantastic. I will head back that way. Oh, these mannequins are too, too sexy. What were they thinking? Think of the children. Were. We made these sexy mannequins for the children. It seems distasteful of you to not give a, a job to a physical Turian and instead just copy his likeness and then with AI pay him nothing but a one time fee. A startling indictment of our times. West entrance to the walls. Till the sweat drips. No, that's not what it says. I read it wrong. Sorry. The next match will be starting soon. Infirmary? Good luck. Jeff, are you in here? Hmm. So I don't necessarily want to compete in uh, skinnable combat at this time. And I do not see any of my friends in here. Which is a shame. But we checked. But we checked. Making all these Hanar crawl. <laughs> I love it. I also don't know if there's like a way to get back to the main area. Like I know Miranda was saying she wants to meet us in the commons. Do I have to throw the party and then I can go back? I'm guessing that's kind of the case. But surely I must be able to come back and play arcade games and casino games and such, so there must be an entrance. I'm just guessing, like, the taxis aren't active during this particular part. But will one day be active from this boop-boop console right here. So let me just give one more quick look inside the casino. That's the place, in all honesty, we've searched the most thoroughly. But here we go again. I did not take a moment. Just drink in the swaths of color. Who has painted this? I'd like to speak to the manager. I find its aggressive use of red very soothing. Deep, deep in my soul. to kill. Fam is out of the house, picking up a go-kart. You have a strong fam. That would, that would hurt my back. Do I fly my drone? Study more for my commercial... Commercial? What? Commercial license for it. <laughs> or play some games. Mm, these all sound like great options, except for the studying. Ugh. Take your drone out over the old haunted woods for a few good shots. Don't violate the ghost's privacy like that. When you stumble upon a clearing, perhaps like a fairy circle of mushrooms, and you see Bigfoot and a ghost canoodling gently, touching one another's 
hairy and smooth butts, respectively. You shouldn't take pictures. That's a, that's a private moment between good good friends, very good friends. <laughs> All right, this this does have a taxi active. Mm hmm. So as long as this isn't going to interrupt the party, let's try to head out and speak with Miranda. Miranda has always been a priority in my heart. How can I help you and your sister this time? It still looks quite... quite blastoed out here. It's like Blasto 7. What a shame. You've been cleaning that same scorch mark for like six... six days? I'm beginning to suspect you're just pretending to get the credit, but not actually doing any of the work. And when you spend six days on your knees just for credit, well, never mind. Ne never you mind what that implies. Any quest items? I should be doing my check from the Normandy computer. And then go out, so that I don't have to go to each one individually. But I'm, I'm sure I've already purchased all the quest items, regardless. Miranda! Or as River Tam would say it. Miranda. Are you not getting a steaming hot cup of tea? I'm beginning to question your choices, Miranda. If you were going to meet me in the commons, it should be over a steaming hot cup of tea or nothing. That was Jeff's favorite bench. Look what they've done to his favorite bench. Liara is still hanging out. I have not seen Miranda. Maybe she's waiting for me in one of her private Hello, apartments. Shepherd. Because what we need to discuss is highly confidential. You there! You're wearing an outfit similar to Miranda. Tell me, where is she? I wouldn't... I, yeah, just me. I wouldn't stand there after what seems to have happened. I, I would pick a new place to stand. Just a little friendly advice. Miranda, it's you. You, you, you have a bun now. I can't say I approve. But it's not my hair, so I don't really get a say. You know, I could just check the map. I could. Never, never going to. Okay, fine, I'll check the map. Miranda, in the apartments, this is the correct place. We were on to something, but which? Which one? Ah, the one that's lit up green. Like half of a Christmas tree. I got your message, Miranda. Hey. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to I trust do. me. Here are my Alliance resources. Take them. You'll have your access. I have no questions. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need what to else? Tell you something. Confess, oh, sorry, that was, really. was rude sounding. Just what it's else? It's been eating away at me. Confess. When I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. You wanted to? I think you mentioned did, this. Did you do it? I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. Did he? That seems tremendously unlike him. Sounds like it would have saved him a lot of trouble. Maybe. He didn't want to interfere with who you truly were. Something Aww, that that's just sweet obeyed of the orders. Man. He wanted Commander Shepard. Installing the chip might have ruined you. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. 
I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Sorry. Yes. Saucy lean. Miranda, I, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. Oh, that's fine. I mean, you'll have to live with it, but it's, it's totally fine. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. You gotta start beating yourself this up was over important. the future. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. Tell me how it goes with those Alliance Miranda, resources. This thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. If there's one thing I can count on you for, Miranda, it's plans, plans, plans. And also well-seasoned pans, pans, pans. Alright. We could talk to Liara while we're here, but I don't necessarily think she has anything new to say. It's worth it just to see her beautiful face. Let's race back down the stairs. And then we will find our next objective. Seems like that is all we have to do in the commons. Hopefully we can return... <coughs> excuse me, to the apartment and send out some invites. I definitely want to nice include to the party proper in this. Nice to see you too, Leora. God, you've made my day. I don't include the party proper in this session, and I don't know how long it's going to take, so we'd better race back there and get it started. It seems like we've talked to everyone we needed to in the Strip, which is the only area I'm moderately unsure if will remain after the party, but I think it does. They're not going to put that much effort into developing an arcade and casino and then lock it away from you. So, I guess I need a taxi to get to my private apartment rather than an elevator. That makes sense. You're not a taxi. You're not a taxi at all. Silver Sun Strip. You have to do household chores, but I'll miss you. I'll miss you, and doing chores is no fun. I'm not making it easier. I'm sorry. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that the chores go well. I'll cry the entire time. Yeah, that sounds... That sounds familiar. Sounds like me doing chores. <laughs> Who made all these dishes dirty? Whoever it was, they're a first-class ass. And not in the good way. Not giving myself a compliment. Though it's hard not to. <laughs> Alright, first things first. My newly purchased furniture. I'm guessing does not automatically spring into existence. My cabinets aren't even red! So let's go to the catalog. <laughs> My furniture lies in the catalog. Doesn't work. Buy any non-standard bedding? What? I've missed my opportunities. The vibrant kitchen. Take me out of the catalog every time? It's a bold choice. Not sure it's one that I agree with. <sighs> it's really not that much of an imposition. Cozy sofa. We got elegant ottomans. Um, nothing in the coffee table category. 
Artistic shelving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that looks good. Oh, it's sleek. It's saucy. Them curves. Good stuff. Alright, invite up. I don't know if this is for the party. Yeah, send invitations is for the party. Invite up is for, like, James and such, who asked to speak with me. Let me get a few of those out of the way real quick. I'm just gonna give it another save. As I worry that I might say the wrong thing in front of James, and he might burst a capillary in his beef shoulders. Right in his chuck roast. James Tali Edie. We're saving best for last. No offense, Edie. James knows. James knows where he ranks. <laughs> Quite high. Quite highly. Let's start with Edie, as I so, so enjoy our time together. Have our little conversations here, and then it's party time. Shepard, I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. Shopping. Oh, that sounds wonderful. I guess we could. Yes, please. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. That's true. Jeff has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and, quote, live it up like a girly girl. Huh. You don't have money of your own? I am not okay, formally Jeff. employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad. Oh, easily, resume. yes. You we'll get to your own fun sometime, but today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? Hmm. Something practical is best. Have you, have you ever looked at Joker in the eye and thought he'll enjoy something practical? No. Get him something extravagant. Get him a pair of sequin pants. Yes. Uh, start with something both of you can enjoy. And you both what like sequin together? pants. We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Here, the 21... Sure, he was like, go live it up like a girly girl, and then you immediately buy a car. Per hour. That's gonna... Making it the most powerful that's gonna sky put a dent in the finances, but it could be fine. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement parts? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bankrupt them. Yeah. You want a rental. <laughs> I see. I'm sure the Joker's salary is quite fair, but just on a Who's whim next? buying a brand new vehicle, you maybe are. not. Close your eyes. Aww. I do. Uh, yes. are you getting married? No. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. It's gorgeous. Each metal compounds with the last, making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Aw, this is cute. This is a cute thing to say. Hmm. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you valuing me? It's the thought that counts. Yeah, sort of. And you had a I good don't mean one. to objectify you. I have heard that expression. But That's you are a high value item in my estimation. my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. Did I have you for a few seconds there? <laughs> <laughs> Not even close. Who's Edie, next? you always have me. I was thinking of something for Liara. What do you got? Lovely. What a lovely afternoon of shopping. Thank you, Edie. And I will cherish my victory ring for all time. I'm guessing I don't... I can't see my hands. Do I have hands? Oh, God! I'm guessing I don't actually get to wear it. But that is a wonderful present. Alright, James. You're up. You're up, big boy. Show me what you got. Show me everything you've got. Gorgeous. Perched hey, Shepard on the balcony. 
Nice place. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking about. It better. You James. wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No. Never. I believe you. Nice view. But this place, it's just so... Not what I'm used to. It's because you can't get your mind it out of the is. gutter, James. I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. Coconuts? You miss it? Yeah. And the people. So, and the coconuts. what's her name? <laughs> no. What's her name, Coconut? No. I stopped fraternizing when I joined the military. The two don't seem to go well together. Hasn't stopped you from being a shameless flirt. Yeah, well, that's just my way. I don't mean anything by it, Lola. Too bad. Oh, I know, James. Ha! I know. Who's the shameless flirt now? So you can give it. It's giving you a little taste of your own medicine. No. <laughs> I just... <laughs> She's laying it on thick. Por Dios. <laughs> I can never tell if you're yanking my chain or not. I'm just yanking your chain. But if you'd ever like me to yank your chain, we could... It's my job to keep you on your toes, Lieutenant. Any way I can. Huh. <laughs> Job well done, then. Good to know I haven't lost my touch. I assume you had a reason for coming to see me? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. Your back muscles? I've seen them. I've seen them before. Oh, that's lovely. I'm what honored to be a part of your skin. Just don't go to the R-Max Arena. You'll see why. You'll see why. Looks good. And you've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's I it. love me a touch I of Freddy Prince. that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Aw, why'd you put James? it back on? As your commanding officer, I'd prefer if you left your shirt off until this you left my apartment. be a perfect place for a fiesta. Hasta la vista, Fine, Shepard. It's up to you. I'll see you for the fiesta. Catch which is going to be real soon. Catch you later. Oh, you cutie. What a great angle for you. Look at how burly your shadow appears. Hmm. I thought the real thing, the physical article of your person, was hot. But look at that shadow. No way. What are you doing? You about to punch my bag? Don't punch my bag, James. No, I, I, I hold it out, demand right? that you do not punch my bag. James, you'd better not. You son of a... <sighs> Fine. We're going to work out together. Me in my leather dress. You in your increasingly few articles of clothing. Is that... Let's pretend that never happened. It's not a renegade option, it's just the, the pull-up button. Uh, All right. Look at you. I'm going to be you know, so tired for the party. You think you can beat it? Maybe. I do. Oh, uh, this should be good. I do think I can beat it. <gasps> this is great. <laughs> That's three. We're, we're getting there. Only like a hundred and seventy eight thousand to go. Up, amigo. Please stop punching my bag. Please stop punching my bag and just pay attention to me. I'm I'm trying to impress you. I wanna have back muscles like you one day, James. I crave them. Beat that record! <laughs> I don't actually have to do all 182, do I? At some point, it's gonna cutscene me, right? Nice form. Thank you. I've worked very hard on it. Sculpting. <clears throat> Mm. 
Do you think they had a specific voice, uh, voiceover session for this, or did they just use the generic? Grunts. From like a combat VO session. They rework them into this. Or did Jennifer Hale have to go in one day and just be like... For this specific purpose. <laughs> this is fun. I think, I think it's time you take it. You take it over. Okay, well, we gotta beat the record. If you're literally gonna make me do it in real time, I will. We will spend real time to beat James's record. But I am also not counting. So if you, if you, if it's. You can continue past 182 as long as you desire to create a new record. I'm gonna have no idea when to stop. You go, Commander. I'm sure he'll at least tell me when I've beaten his record. I will not miss out on whatever dialogue comes from me beating the record, though. But I do want that hot tub. Forty! After nice! Forty! Oh, we're getting there. We're oh. getting there. <laughs> Thank you for bearing with me. Now that we're down this path, we cannot stop. Though it's gonna take a, a little while to get there. So just keep grunting. This reminds me very much of like a Shenmue. Situation. Uh, this is exactly the sort of thing that would happen to you in Shamu. Uh, Kicking ass. Stop looking at my ass. Uh, One tiny mistake and we lose all of our progress. <clears throat> it's gonna be fine. <clears throat> You're gonna be ripped, man. It's true. I'm gonna be bigger than you by the time we're done, James. <clears throat> I do kind of wish you could do this like throughout the entirety of the game. That's and 60. High actually five. make <laughs> Shepard <laughs> like bigger. <clears throat> you just get beefy if you wanted or stay all slim and sneaky if that's what you're into. <clears throat> We're not even close to the record is the sad reality of it. This angle doesn't doesn't <clears throat> really work for Catherine. I'd I'd like you to pull away. <clears throat> I'm so worried I'm gonna mess it up now. It could happen at any moment. <clears throat> Good stuff, Hefe. Thank you. Would you keep count for me? I'm Stop just giving generic comments and, and let me know which one I'm on. I need to know. I know you're giving me the milestones, and I appreciate that, but... If you open your mouth to speak to me, I want to hear a number. And preferably, it should be 182. It's not too much trouble. <clears throat> this is some thrilling gameplay. <laughs> Small detour to press a button 182 <clears throat> times. Oh yeah. James, what did I just say? It's almost as though you weren't listening to me at all. Just punching and punching my bag. <clears throat> Oh, but the relief. The relief.
grief we're gonna feel when this is over, I can't even begin to tell you. She does look like actively in pain <laughs> at this point. We're just That's torturing the poor woman. Great. Halfway. <laughs> we're getting there. <clears throat> Getting confused about which one's left and which one's right. <gasps> After so many, so many times. <clears throat> like you've pressed one of the trigger buttons almost a hundred times. Would you like to just press <clears throat> a random trigger button? Like, no, brain. Stay focused. <clears throat> Catherine's getting the raw end of this deal. That's impressive. 82 nice. remain. I'm complaining about having to go. Pressed trigger buttons, and she's actually having to move her meat bod around. I should not be complaining. I'd like you to prepare a dry towel for me, James. <clears throat> for when this is over, <clears throat> make sure it's really dry. <clears throat> Fly it to the Sahara if you must. <clears throat> this whole thing in a leather dress. <laughs> so unfortunate. <clears throat> so unfortunate for Catherine. On the downslope. I'll be right back. Don't up. go anywhere. Uh, James, you come back here and count for me. How are you gonna know when I beat your record? <clears throat> you better still be counting in your mind by listening to my grunts from the other room. <clears throat> Don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. <clears throat> I love the absurdity. <laughs> it really is. <laughs> they're like, they're not gonna... They're not gonna expect us to make them do 182 pull-ups. So let's do it. It'll be absurd. I feel like Patrick Stewart in the later Star Trek films. When he got real beefy and started to wear sleeveless <clears throat> t-shirts. Yes. That's it, I come am on. Cutest. <clears throat> Don't start thinking about Locutus and get distracted. <clears throat> Stay on target. Stay on target. <clears throat> Wanted to make a joke about using the force, Luke, and close my eyes, but that's not smart. <clears throat> This, at this particular juncture. <clears throat> Locutus, more like the cutest of Borg. <laughs> oh, I love it. And it's true. What a lovely, smooth little man. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. a moment of silence for Catherine's uh. triceps? Uh. I, I don't know what pull-ups do. I, I don't I don't know what muscle groups are. But uh. all her triceps. Close-up. Get that dry towel ready, James. She could have at least taken off her jewelry first. That must be so... so uncomfortable by now. Just slips sliding around. There's the traps right there. Oh, good. Somebody who knows muscle groups. He's here to save us. 
I'm so happy. What am I on, James? Give me a number. Please, James, I'm begging you. I don't so even know close. if he's lost count. <clears throat> oh, that was... I really, really almost pressed the right trigger. <clears throat> you can't imagine how close I was to pressing the right trigger. That <clears throat> would have been sad for all of us. And I might have never recovered. <clears throat> <Whew. clears throat> Shepard might not be getting ripped, but your trigger <clears throat> finger sure is. It's... it's getting tired, yeah. <clears throat> Both of my trigger fingers. <clears throat> Mostly it's just my clenched <clears throat> area. The area where I clench <clears throat> from this high stakes, <clears throat> high pressure situation. I will <clears throat> not lose. Almost. Almost there. You let me know when I can stop, James. Your gluteus be maximized. Is this the last one? Holy hell, you Yeah. Now take a take a break, Catherine. I don't know what to say. How you feel it? I, I'm going to pay for that right now. I already am going to pay for that. I need help pulling my armor on next time. <laughs> I'm happy to help, Lola. <laughs> Don't tease a girl when she's winded. Don't win a girl okay, when okay. she's teasing. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't oh, worry, I, I won't. I don't tolerate that kind of behavior. What a weird time to come in. Hey, how are you? <laughs> what the what the hell are you doing? Oh, I'm I'm doing a pull-up contest with James. I'm definitely not filming some close-up softcore. No. That would be weird. I begged you, James. I begged and begged you not to punch my oh, back. <coughs> this is sweet. <coughs> you get up on that bar. You get up on that bar, and I'm gonna count this time. And then I'm gonna be like, I'm hungry for salami! And leave, and lose count, and make you freak out for about 60 reps. And then I'm gonna tell you I was keeping count the whole time. I have a security camera in that light fixture. And it is zoomed right in on your cheeks, so that I can make sure I keep count of how many pull-ups you're doing. Don't question it. Don't question it, James. I gotta go to bed now. I'm, I, I gotta hit the hot tub first, and then we're definitely going to bed. No party. I was gonna have the party tonight, but no. I need a week to recover my traps. Get in. Get in there. Dress and all. Just dive. Dive right in, Catherine. James is just gonna just gonna keep punching my bag. I cannot get him to leave, I guess. I'm gonna invite Talizora up. I'm also gonna save it after having semi successfully pressed a button 182 times. Alright, Tali. I love my own. Please come up to my apartment. Shepard needs to be rebuilt by Cerberus all over again. <laughs> Time to hey, hook up that Lazarus me? project. No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. Now, poetic. Please sit. You I'm remember happy. that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Shalai and Bellicus on the balcony? Well, I don't think I've ever seen that vid. What? You've never... <laughs> How 
could you not have? Movie night. Uh, Movie I'm night. We're doing tonight. I'll make the perfectly cubed marshmallows. We can never be together. That's what people eat during I movies, right? Duty. And you have your people. Not tonight. Tonight, there is some free as the dust. Those polyps make my nose run. Why is that? I do. So you've watched this a lot, huh? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover. Look at her cute little toes. So many feelings. Yeah, it's, um... Yeah, definitely. When this is done, I'll send you links to extranet sites with some captioned animations. <laughs> I want you to I'd like see that. behind this mask. I want you to see who I truly am. I Don't take it off. Don't take it off. She had an infection for three weeks after filming this scene. Oh, no. Totally worth it. I may have completed the pull-up contest, but now I'm out of coffee? And I don't know if I've ever been sadder. Loved ones have died. And passed on from this world to a beautiful new place, and I wasn't as sad about it as I am this lack of coffee. <laughs> That's not fair to say. Alright, I don't think I can invite anyone else up, which is great. I'm gonna save it one more time after having a lovely movie night with Tali. What a treat. And let's throw this party. Let's do party time. Send invitations. Invite all. Yes, there is no one. No one on this list I would not like to be at my party. I am gonna install a claw machine. Just to taunt Zaid. Alright, invite all. What sort of party are you hoping to have tonight, Commander? I could set hmm. things up for quiet conversation, or would you prefer a more energetic evening? Oh, it's gotta be an energetic evening. There'll be time, late at night, when we're all gathered in the hot tub, possibly smooching, for it to be quite quiet. But for now, let's let's do energy. I think it's time to blow off some steam. Excellent choice, Commander. Allow me to queue up a series of popular nightclub tracks and drink lists. Yes, please. I will also modify my appearance to be more festive. Aww. Disco ball glyph? Oh, we've been waiting for this. What a treat. Cortez, hey, welcome. Come on in. Did you bring Thanks my for wine? Coming. Thanks for the invite. You did not. Make yourselves at home. Yes, by your empty Thank hands. you. Happy to be here. Cold, Liara, no hug? No hug for me? Where did Kasumi go? Where did you go, Kasumi? Good. No one's punching my bag yet. Let's see if anyone's being shy. Javik, are you being shy? If I was at a party, this, this corner with the pillows, is where I would be. So I just had to check. Let's start at the upstairs. Anyone who shows up at my home and immediately climbs a flight of stairs deserves to be spoken to. In a manner most gentle. Javik, which bathroom are you crying in? be funny if someone showed up beginning of the party early in the night and just immediately went alone to the hot tub. I would not blame them. Hey, hey you guys are. Look at all these beefcakes. Look at all of your tiny little butts. Some of you with tails. I'll take the position by the point. You or the tank bread? Yeah, I'm plenty curious myself. what I miss? The Prothean here wants to know who Can would win number? in a fight between me and Rex. You gotta admit it, Shepard. It's a good question. Do what you it want, but don't break question. my sculptures. No, it isn't. Baby Project here wouldn't stand a chance. Don't listen to this fossil. The only thing he could defeat is a glass of warm milk. 
<laughs> I got head lice bigger than you, Junior. You boys done talking? Yeah. Only one way to settle this. Whip out your nips. Whip out your... Oh, fight, I mean. Fight. Fight. Sorry, I got the wrong impression <laughs> about where this was leading. Now the party started. <clears throat> Another time, guys. I don't have time to buy new furniture. Uh, I just, just bought new furniture. Good. Yeah. Fight each other Garden away from my elegant ottoman. Javik, why aren't you crying in the bathroom? I expected in more from you. Too many people in one room risk the high casualty rate if attacked. We should all be careful. That's a good point. No, you, you make a good point that's very fun for the party. 50,000 years from now, no one will remember this party. <laughs> what is the point? <laughs> I love that comment. <laughs> Sure, we're having fun now. I do, I mean, we're in an eon. No one's even gonna remember. Why should we be? Beware. Something called a Kasumi is on the premises. It pretends to be invisible. It doesn't Foolish just pretend. pretend. Nothing escapes these eyes. It's not a party if no one's crying in the bathroom. Somebody, Zaid, would you, would you do the honors? Reminds me of Cora's den. Haven't been back there in a while. We should all go, after this. Drinks on me. Also, canapes on me. I wonder if there's anything stronger behind the bar. Well, you're welcome to check. Zaid, you're not very talkative, but that's... Damn, typical Zaid. I accept you as you are. And I love you. Tali Zora's butt on my countertop? I'm never washing it again! Man, this music is hot! Jack, the right so glad you made it. sets the tone for the whole party, right, Esteban? Sure. My I, party I are you? always a little hit and miss, to be honest. Ooh, sushi. Stick with me, bud. I'm a party legend. Just gonna sloop. Hey, Shepard. You gonna have a drink? Are you sure. offering? How's everyone doing? Ask me after five more of these. <laughs> okay. As long as keep you keep control of those biotics of yours. So what does happen to a biotic when they're completely borracho. Stick around, muscles. Maybe you'll find out. Yeah. Maybe you'll muscles. survive it. I like that. Hey, thanks oh, for doing this. Cortez. I kind of needed to unwind a bit, even just for a night. I think we've all learned to rest. That we have, Cortez. I just did 183 pull-ups. So. No? No comments from Caden? Giving me the cold shoulder, are we? God, that shoulder is icy cold. James, would you tell Caden that I'm upset with him? Will you pass along a message for me? Hey, James. Having fun? I'm relaxed. A little fun? I'm not upset. I think my kindergarten graduation was more fun than this. Very what? funny. Don't worry. I'll see what I can do. I will start table dancing. You know dancing. that waterfall is warm water or cold? You're going to find out with your skin. With your freshly tattooed back skin, I can't guarantee there's not biological contaminants in the in the waterfall water. I would suggest maybe not, maybe not finding out with your fresh, fresh skin. Caden, are you really not going to talk to me? I mean, I've done everything in my power to earn this from you, but but still, it hurts you know now that we've come down to the moment. Lose? Demographics. You recruit a guy who's 20 and got no life, he'll work his ass off for the cause. But do you see any old people in Cerberus? Any families? No. There's no future in a terrorist group. And sure, they pay, but you ever bring up vacation time? There was a brick wall. How about you, Joker? How would you turn Cerberus around? I'd make Cerberus popular. Big propaganda campaign, like I was running for president. Fundraising dinners, shaking hands, kissing babes. I believe the expression is kissing baby. I know what I said. <laughs> I know what I said. Kissing babes. <laughs> Make room for one more. You know, I, I miss join. the days when Cerberus was just hilariously incompetent. You know, when <laughs> Jacob was in charge. Excuse me? What specific time period are you referring to, Jeff? Hey, Commander, this is Cerberus. We were studying some Rachni, and they got loose and killed all our guys. Can you take care of that? 
It's one system over from where we hooked some guy up to the Geth, who then got loose and killed all our guys. They did rack up quite a body count. And at least okay. back then, it was usually their own bodies. We knew some cells were bad, but the Alliance and the Council weren't doing anything. And we were doing good work. And crunches. Lots of crunches. Kasumi, hey, not you were okay, here the Kasumi. entire time? True. However, God, I love Cerberus you. did successfully revive Shepard from a near-death state. And after taking down the Collectors, I cut ties with Cerberus, got loose, and started killing Every all their guys. But not you, Jake. which we thank you. Never you. Jeff, do you remember that I am also a Cerberus project? Oh, crap. Kasumi, where'd you go? Wait, is this like a pin the tail on the donkey situation? I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'm gonna get you. She's gone. She's long gone. Edie, how are things? Did you get something to drink? Can can you drink? Would you like to try? Maybe it'll send your neuroprocessors into a sort of tipsy euphoria that you've not experienced before. Dr. Chuckles. up for some bad examples of human behavior? Her. I think you mean Sensual. examples of bad human behavior. Manner, Just a hint. Grammar correction? Not the best icebreaker. <laughs> but it's a required skill. Everyone needs grammar correction from time to time. Even the best of us. Thanks for inviting me, Shepard. It's nice to see you like this. Oh, How I'm sure like it is. Crew? Let me do a spin you for you, Jacob. It's very Have nice fun. to see me. You bet I will. Joker. So what was this in the chat? Is anyone double fisting at this party? Well, give it time. I was really confused when I heard that it meant holding a beer in each hand because it does not where I come from. <laughs> I'm sure there are even even parts of the world here where that is not what it means. <laughs> but I shudder to think what it means. Hey, Joker. Jeff, my Jeff, look at your little little abs. You are looking. I hate to just boil you down to your aesthetics, as you're such a well-rounded and complex person, inside and outside. But hot damn, look at you, you can svelte. Hey, Commander, weird to see everybody here together. You think? Well, weird but good. Nice to know it's not always arm wrestling reapers with us. Anyway, thanks. We could get some together. Reapers in here for our Try not to be too embarrassing. That's what you prefer. You couldn't embarrass me, Joker. Not unless you ran around kissing babes. Oh, come on! <laughs> Alright, we got the kitchen group. I do not see Dr. Chakwas. And it's. A oh my god! He's got a little bow tie. That was his idea. <laughs> Changing his aesthetic for a energetic party evening, and it's what perfect. Not? Not? It's Your beautiful. Your guests appear to be getting rowdy, Commander. Would you like me to change the intensity of the atmosphere? Let's get louder. I'll let you know. I'm still talking to everyone at this stage. I want to check a few things before we change things up. Certainly, Commander. I wonder how many times you get to change the intensity. Should we just keep? Keep rising, louder and more energetic, <laughs> till all of the furniture is in tatters. Size of this apartment. The electric bill alone could have paid for my college tuition, or That's funded true. the war. Plus, it's all on Anderson. Enjoy it. Atlas, Max. I always wanted one. Or put an air conditioner in this suit. You have no idea how hot it gets. Thank you for making that comment. While your thighs are pressed against my countertop, I'm. I'm glad to know they're quite, quite sweaty. That it's gonna be fine. I'll I'll clean that later. My Lysol budget is through the roof now. So I don't think there's anyone else to speak with. I'd better do the kitchen group. No, Not bad. do yeah. the kitchen group. Oh, Garris is here. So. With some work, it's the kind of place Archangel could retire in. You won't retire, Garris. There will always be criminals who deserve bullets in their hair. I mean, justice for their actions. <laughs> so justice. you're Archangel. That's right. James told me it was some sort of maid service on Omega. Kind of is. Cleaner. 
Anybody hire a cleaner? With the sexiest hips. We're moving on. Take so, them hips, Sharers, you can serve this will, but can you drink it? Are you Someone has to drag y'all home. Are we sure the Normandy is still there? Has anyone else tried to steal it? Stealing the Normandy? Now there's an idea. Wait. No, don't you. What? Don't you do it, Kasumi. I need that. Trainer, you still have your toothbrush? We can always <laughs> get another I'm never going to let her live that down. Call up <laughs> He's like a Cerberus and ask them to please. Build us the SR3. But wouldn't that require you to change your name? Tali Zora von Normandy SR3. It's Vas Normandy. <laughs> von <laughs> means one who has a weak bladder. Which feels appropriate right about now. Like we all have a weak bladder a just about now. Times on the old girl. That we have, indeed. Hear, hear. Some of you more than others. I'm just honored to have squeaked in to awesome, the Normandy. Man. We wouldn't be the same without you. All right. Who has special? Th I'm, I'm going to take this, Tally. You can have more later. I'm just. I'm going to take that for now. And you maybe have some water. And I'll, I'll, I'll find you a nice place to sit, where you're not going to bang your face, your face plate into the tiles. That's out. Liara. This is nice. I don't spend much time with everyone like this. As friends. I'm glad we could do this. Spend time with them as friends? What do you... What do you spend time with them as? Lovers? Liara! This is shocking news. Hi. I'm trying to socialize. I'm not particularly good at it. I'll say. Not much for big parties? Well, if I know people, sure. But some of your friends are legends. I can't just ask if they've tried to hunt us. Hey. Even also, legends Dr. have to Chuckles try the Also, Dr. Chuckles apologizes for not being here. It's some emergency medical consult on the Citadel. She sent some fancy liquor, though. It was great. Wish you could Sarah's have had some. brandy? Was it? <laughs> Wish you could have had some. <laughs> you received the liquor from Dr. Chakwas and promptly downed it in one. Fair enough, Samantha. Get the Sarah's ice brandy while the getting's good, I say. All right, shall we go louder? And then maybe we'll mellow out in the later evening time. Your guests Hot appear tub. to be getting rowdy, Commander. But Would for you now, it's all rise. The, the party's just starting. Let's turn it up. At your service, Commander. At your service, Cliff. Just hope nobody gets hurt. Never know with this group. This rambunctious crew. Zaid and Samara are back there admiring the art. Start here. Hey, sweetheart. We never really talked about it. You but sweetheart, you and me Samara. Have a lot in common. Just we a do. car, Samara. Of course we do. We're both hunters, right? I suppose we are. And? And, well. And we're both good looking. Your point, Said. What are you trying to not so subtly suggest here? Because Samara, in all honesty, has better things to do. Hello, Shepard. Zaid was just keeping Still no coffee. Hello there. You're admiring the art? Beauty, as they say, is in the eye of the beholder. Hey, Shepard. Hey, beautiful. What do you think, Samara? Hang on, hang on. You need to calm down, down Zaid. I didn't say I didn't like it. I do like it, actually. If I'm completely honest, I'm not sure what it is. It's, I like the way the colors blend. It's um, and it's the depth of the, uh, actually, goose. I have no it's a goose. What I'm saying. Angry it makes goose. me feel uneasy, like when you're alone in the dark, lying in wait, and the cold wind brushes across your face like the kiss of death. Huh. You are a shockingly beautiful individual, Aid Masari. <laughs> you bet your sweet Asari ass. Complicated individual. Uh, Samara, I know that you don't need any help dealing with Zaid. I'll see you later.
Can't wait to find out what he says about this one. Grunt, are you alone? Flipping through my Can we come in? TV. No, you can't. Go away. Attracting the neighbors. Invite up. Turn away. Hmm. Everyone who I would like to be at the party is at the party? I don't want it to turn into one of those real rowdy. Hundreds of folks combing through my undergarment situations. I've been there before. I've had hundreds of folks combing through my undergarments. And I don't want to go back to that place. But it does seem rude and unneighborly. Hmm. Hmm. They were ghosts the entire time. Oh, God. Stop asking. Maybe they're just in the elevator. Gotta keep this private. As elitist and snobby as that is. How's it going over here? You can't come in. Well, that Vorcha, he just good. wants to dance. Aw, oh, now it. I feel bad. Anyone interesting trying to get in? Not really. No. Get lost. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna open the party to Vorcha only. No. That seems Can racist. I, that? I can't. I can't sure. enact a policy like that. Press this button and say no. Uh, no. <laughs> Great work. <laughs> good. Thanks. No. You have fun, Grunt. Easy. Easy. Keep up the good work. Will do. Thanks I for bouncing. Already. No. Yes, I like pie. And no. You can't come oh wait, in. they brought pie? No, let's reconsider. If they brought pie, they can come hey, in. Hey, Shepard, thanks for the invite. Never been to a human part. All right, what do we got back Wars here. Planet to get shot down over? We're talking pre-war. Pre-war. It's like the boys' World club. I'm going with Tarif. Garden World, yes, but it's got those chlorine swamps. I will see your Tarif and raise your Azoria. Home of toxic spores and athletes long. Neither of you'd last a day on Tuchanka. And Tuchanka supports life. I think you meant to say consumes. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> it's got critters that'll rip your guts out. Well, assuming it's a crash in the Kodiak, I'll have my arms locker. Bring on the wildlife. Hey, mind if I lean on the bar with you? That's the stuff. Hey guys. Talking shop? No worries, this is fun for us. So, you don't have a sidearm under your pilot's chair? <laughs> the weapons locker is on the bridge, practically right there. A weapon you can't get to is no weapon at all. When's the last time you trained with a handgun? Having such a good time Sometime at this point. I got the ass kicking robot as my co pilot. That's no good. Well, what if you have to save Edie someday? Unacceptable. You should always train. Pilots are warriors, too. You know what this is? It's a man emergency. Take this kid out back and make him do a man back. emergency. <laughs> exactly. Some range. Hey, Joker is man right, enough for me already. You are not taking me shooting. My testosterone levels are plenty high. I fly a deadly war machine. Remember? Support Joker. Joker's body count is plenty high. You don't need to take him anywhere. This is not about me knocking He's killed more reapers than I have. For the worst. Man, I didn't hear of any gunplay when Rex grabbed your shuttle on Sir Cash. If there had been, I'd have killed our best shot at an alliance with a Krogan. You mean you would have wounded it? Ha! Ah. And maybe we should drink. To brains as well as Burn. guns. Done. All right, Karis, get, get out. Get, get out from back there. Let me let me get at you. I know you're trying to keep a physical bubble of distance between us so that I don't do something I later regret as your commanding officer, but come on, just a, just a little nibble? Not even a nibble, Garrus. Great party. I'd better see you out on the dance floor later. Oh, you'll see, we'll see. more than you want of me <laughs> out on the dance floor. Rex, you want to play a game with me? Any game, I don't mind. Twister? 
How flexible are you? Too many things to break in here. Could be a fun party. Admiral Anderson, we regret, regret to inform you. What kind of music is it? Your apartment this? has been trashed. That's not that club crap, is it? And yet, yet you're shaking your little shoulders to it. Club crap, indeed. All right, upstairs balcony. We got Jack. I can hardly wait. You again. She's just cool. She's cool to have at your party. Give you that edge of danger with your friends. No one's crying in the pillows yet? Come on. We're halfway through the night. This is a thing. Beautiful. Not a time to cry in the pillows. We already checked back here, but I'm, I'm back again. Guess who's back? Alright, balcony time. Absolutely. Biotics are impressive. I'm not saying they are. You're just saying that they're not that impressive. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. Oh, shit. No, it's fine. I'm sure no one here is insulted. Not yet. I'm certainly not. <sighs> Only a little. Maybe. I'm just saying. <sighs> what I'm trying to say is... I mean, check out these guns. That's what you're trying to say. I can't give you this kind of fine instrument. <laughs> the peak physical form that you see before you. How do you know I wasn't using okay. biotics to do those pull-ups earlier? I mean it. Check me out. Well, if, you're, if we're going to Is check you out, you have to take the shirt off. Argument? Come on in closer. Don't be shy. <laughs> yeah, don't be shy. If you insist. Sorry, Jack. I'm blocking your view over here. There we go. Alright, I'm real close. Show me what you got, James. Show me everything you've got. Hey, what's going on here? Everyone playing nice? Of course, Shepard. James was just explaining how physical conditioning trumps biotics. Really? You go in there, James? Come on, Lola. You're you trying to, to start a war? Biotics are strong, but unpredictable. All that cooling down. Shepard, where did you find this guy? I wouldn't call my biotics unpredictable. The engine bay. The Reapers would either. A person can improve their physique, but biotics, they are what they are. Okay. And what about our Just until we get some skill points, yeah, I guess points. you have a point. Wait, what? You're not talking about me, are you? <laughs> I mean, I may be L2, but I've worked very hard. And now I can read. Really? That's... no. Really? Huh. That's a bit strange. Tell us more okay, about reading. Okay. Maybe it's not conditioning exactly. What is Maybe this? Just the condition is it appropriate for public James consumption? Vega. Right, Jack. Hey, Liara. Check it out. This guy here never has to cool down. In fact, the hotter, the better. Wait. We're still talking <laughs> about just... combat, right? Hilarious. Just hush and do some sit-ups. Kasumi. Just looking. <laughs> uh, goddess. I think I'm with Team Biotics on this one. Sorry, James. You are an impressive hunk of beef, but... You're an impressive hunk of beef, but... James, this is a no-brainer. Biotics win hands down. We're talking about harnessing dark energy here. Yeah. I can stand in the middle of this group and Look say Biotics you. aren't better. It had to be an argument you couldn't win. Not that any it's okay, bad. man. <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, well, you win some, you lose some. Okay, more drinks, snacks, help yourselves. We've got pretzels, and guess what? They are stuffed to the mother-flipping gills with nacho cheese. Get down there, grab yourself a handful. Hey, <laughs> need me to do anything? Uh, food run, change the music, check on ice. I need you to relax check on and have a good time. The ice. Okay, you're the boss. Uh, hey, maybe I'll cook something. Don't Katie, burn down Admiral just Anderson's apartment. Relax. I'll help you relax by gently reaching around and taking that drink from you and choking you out onto the padded floor. That's how we relax around here. Anyone using the hot tub yet? Mm, 
It's not going to be a party for me until someone ends up in here. Until someone ends up in the drink. Specialist trainer, hey. may I ask you a question? You could ask me anything, Edie. When you believed me to be a simple VI, you made comments about my voice. Oh, no. Should I find somewhere else to be? No! No, no, I wanted to ask you about... Uh, weren't you saying something about the Normandy's drive corp? Uh, no. Could you? I wish to understand why you find my voice sexually attractive. <laughs> oh, that was a while ago. I can't even remember what I said exactly. Oh, I certainly don't. Still, to this day, find your voice you like attractive. Ah. recordings of your statements? Told you. Tolly, please stop helping. <laughs> Mind if I butt in? Mind if I butt in? Wow. What's Sorry. wrong, you two? I am asking Specialist Trainer about why she found my voice sexually attractive. This is a really good cheese, Shepard. I put some in through the filters. Is it organic? On one occasion, put you some said cheese you through your filters. Quote, that sounds delicious. The wall and run your tongue along its collarbone. Well, uh, there's a context there that uh, <laughs> Samantha. you were talking about quantum entanglement, and uh, I didn't know you were an AI. There's some kind of herb in the cheese that I can't quite place. <laughs> Poor Tali. <laughs> trying so hard anyway, not to be I'm involved in this. <laughs> joking. You know, it's this cheese, though. Um. And... Really? My diagnostic suggested that you were genuinely aroused. Samantha, it's really rare Care to defend to yourself. Dextro cheeses. The Turians almost never bother. You Love have the contrast of this. Cerberus programmed you to check body language. I get more reliable results measuring pupil dilation and thermal readings of erogenous zones. Mm. Oh, good lord. Wait, this is Dextro cheese, right? Kila, did I forget to scan the cheese? This is why I don't drink. Never There's forget to scan trainer. the cheese. He has a right to ask about what you said. I was very interested in Trainer's ability to develop sexual feelings for what was, at the time, a bodiless voice. You are all terrible. Edie. It's happened to the best. I apologize for saying that I wanted to roll naked with your voice in satin sheets. Oh, I was not offended. In fact, it was flattering. Even the part where I wanted to grab your voice by the hair and nibble my way down its back. I do not, in fact, remember you saying that, Samantha. Oh, that wasn't out loud. Never right mind. Right by the voice hairs. Don't Yikes. mind me. I'm just going to run a toxin treatment program so I don't die. Don't, don't die, Tally. Don't you die. You two. Keep doing what you're doing. I love that we're getting all this out in the open. It's good for morale. Tali, do you want to go? You want to go get some cheese with me? We'll just we'll just leave these two. We'll I'm talk just it out. Going to sit here quietly and hope someone changes the subject. Desperately hope Awkward. someone changes the subject. Tali, you know that there's more than one member of the crew who'd love to roll naked in satin sheets with your voice. Possibly speaking from personal experience, uh, Samantha, you had an interaction prompt for like a half second and then it disappeared. Or maybe I was just squinting and your arms reached a, a parenthetical shape, and I thought for a moment. Edie's got her hands over her tum-tum like she's too full. Oh, and then she got self-conscious because I mentioned it. I'm sorry, Edie. I shouldn't have... Shouldn't have pointed it out. Who's that gorgeous character? Oh, hey. Hey there. How many bedrooms does this place have? You are done running the errands and taking care of the burbs. Oh, that was me. How are the burbs? Are they chirping? We could just talk. I'm sure you've got a few stories to tell. Yes, that's all you'll be doing this evening, Zaid. Just like talk. To hear them. I think we've spoken to everyone. And we can advance to the next phase of the party. I hope I'm not missing something rather obvious. No. I'm <laughs> still just denying everyone. 
We've got all this space and food and drinks, but it's for me. All this space and food and drinks are for me. For oh, every rando that, from the Citadel streets. That I, wanted to watch Joker break I know that makes me selfish. Alright, Liv. Let's take this party to the next level. If no one ends in the hot tub this time around, I'm gonna cry. What shall I do I'm gonna cry next to the pillows. Dance. Check on guests. Oh, oh, I'm telling him to dance. Yes, please. Please dance. Let's turn up the music and get some people dancing. Dance for me, Cliff. Very good, Commander. I have had little opportunity to use my bounce and spin mm. functionality. I can't wait to see it. <laughs> bow tie spins around. Aww. Yeah, now we're talking. Everybody's having a good time. Jack is actively on the command table. Good for her. Good for Jack. Hey, you two. Yes, Edie. At social events like this, it is customary to dance with friends or loved ones. Would you dance with me? Say yes, Jack. It's going to take a lot more than a polite request to make that happen, Edie. I have recordings of you talking in your sleep that would make for a highly amusing extranet video. Okay, that's cheating. We won't be going back to dress all anytime soon. So he won't dance with you, huh? Hello, Shepard. He will not. Well, I will. Joker. <laughs> What's so funny about that? I'm gonna steal your bow. <laughs> Don't stop laughing, Joe. It's gone on too long. <laughs> Edie's little hand, Joe. Seriously, though, don't go there. Well, then yeah. maybe you should. Got dance worried with there her. at the end, didn't you? Other people are dancing, Jen. Yes, they are, and I am sitting here enjoying my drink. I obviously don't want Jeff to get hurt in the middle of the party, and any sort of exuberant dancing with the oomch oomch might cause his hips to gently explode inside his pantaloons. And that's not the kind of exploding inside his pantaloons that I want to happen today. Um... Edie also deserves to dance and experience all that humanity and her body have to offer. But she can dance with other folks without Jeff exploding in his pants. For lack of a better way to say that, I support dancing. Joker. No. Gently. Come on. Real gentle. No. You can do it. Seriously. Ugh. Fine. You yeah, can get out there. That's right. Watch your hips. Watch your pantaloons. Do have fun. <laughs> Dancing bit of wood. I love waste precious energy. Can't dance myself. I move like a greased one legged varn. <laughs> Not a pretty picture. And still pay to see it. Hey. Am I gonna have to whip you boys to get you on the dance floor? So here's where the party's at. I have got, got a line. long noodle, and I'm ready for love. Kids, Easier to talk like back that. here. What do you think of the music? Great? Bad? What? Not as good as in your cycle, hey, Javik? Am I right? Not even remotely. Knew it. Oh, maybe we can leg wrestle later. Perfect end to a perfect evening. Just want to go sure. butt to butt with Zaid. I'll look for you later then, maybe. Any excuse to press your cheeks together gently, eh, Rex? I see what's happening here. Zaid, prepare your cheeks. Rex has thrown down the gauntlet. Everybody crying yet? Could not. Hey. Could you? I could float you off this balcony without breaking a sweat. Oh, I know you could. Yara sounds but like do she's you been have vibing. The to actually do Good for it. her. Any of you? <laughs> what a guy! Buckle up, brother. Balls? 
<laughs> you got it, Vega. He is going to go flying. I wouldn't. I wouldn't keep pushing the biotics if I were you, my friend. Yes. Shepard, what's up? Just proving a point. I think James has a newfound respect for biotics. You okay, James? Yeah, this is trippy. I'm kind of buzzing all over. That's exactly. good, doesn't nice, it? Right? I can feel that way on a whim. Do you find Jacob. it relaxing? Have uh, you been self biotic Kinda. Among other things. You're being so gentle, Liara. Can I have a turn? Careful. Okay. I need my full crew back when the night's Play over. nice. Okay, you've had your fun. Put me down now. Come on, let's dance. Yeah. <laughs> James! <laughs> you have impressed me. You are really giving it your all. Maybe I should have supported physicality. Look at these biotics and their lack of, of moves. And you were just rah rah rasputining all over the place. My goodness. Still one in the hot tub. I will catch a peek of James in his banana hammock. One of these days. One of these days. Grunt. Oh, he's crying in the bathroom. <laughs> wasn't actually serious. Are you okay, buddy? Do you not like the dancing? I understand. I can sit in there with you. Grunt? You okay? What? Yeah. I got five credits. Do you need a loan? Excellent. Don't be I'm sad. Oh. Hey there. Every time I catch a glimpse of myself in the mirror, I'm just reminded. Hot oh, damn, oh, specimen. And I, I love you. Don't drown, okay? If you need, if you need help, if you're actively drowning, just put up a hand. It's true. It's like a pasta carbonara up in there. Right, Grunt, I love you. Take care of yourself. Get into that part of the night. Oh, hello, panties. Are you rummaging through my panties, Kasumi? Kasumi! Those are my panties. Oh, hey, Jeff. You're going through my drawers? <laughs> going through my literal through drawers? Drawer. Can't you just mingle and have fun like a normal person? Why this would I fun. want to do that? This is By fun way, for her. You have excellent taste in underwear. Thank you. you make it, Kasumi. I'd like hey, to make that a mutual I'm statement really if you care to show me your drawers. Your very strange standards. Yep. We have to go to your house for that. So, you're just gonna... I've caught you rummaging through my panties, and now you're just going to go right back to my panty rummaging. Is that what this is? Just unashamed really? panty rummaging? Earlier than I was expecting. You know, most people say that about me. Most people do. They're still dancing. Jeff, your hips okay? You holding out? Let me know if you need an Advil. Alright, we just have the main group. Main group of dancers. Let me check the fireplace just to make sure. No one else is isolated and showering. Good. Good, good. Let's see what everyone's up to in the kitchen. Oh, Tali Zora is getting it. Yeah. Samantha. Popping them arms. But I think the real the real meat of the matter here is Jack and her coyote ugly routine. Excellent stuff, Jack. Hell yeah. <laughs> Go for it. Come on, Shepard. Yeah. That's the stuff. <laughs> Captain on deck! Has she always been like this? <laughs> Shepard is Pretty saving much. the galaxy. You have to forgive a few eccentricities. It's very enthusiastic. 
It is impressive. Stop looking at my ass. We should record this and broadcast it for the Reapers. Don't stop. They'll either run away, melt down, or fall in love. Oh, Karis. <laughs> good to see some things don't change. Well, I like it, Commander. It's good to see you cut loose now and then. Thank you stop for clapping, all your Cortez. loyalty and Stop There's too much clapping in what you're doing. No, don't stop. Don't stop. Shepard, you keep going. Take a group photo. I'd love to. But first, hey, Garrus, remember what you just said about the Reapers falling in love with me? Was that some sort of uh, personal projection, or would you maybe like to go to the hot tub with me? Taking a wild guess here, Shepard. <coughs> Whatever you're serving is starting to kick in. Has Leora always been so blue? Where is Leora? Where are you, where are you seeing Leora? Is Leora in the room with us right now? Garrus, you need to lie down. Cliff. Hey, would you care for a memento of this evening, Commander? My surveillance I would. systems include state of the art. I really cameras. would. Please gather everyone by Let's the living room. Living room couch. Living room couch. Well, not for me. <laughs> Perhaps you've just never found the right partner. Are you enjoying yourself, Jeff? You can you can tell us if this is hurting you. You've you've satisfied our lust for your hips. But if you're having fun with Edie, I think you should you should communicate that to her because it would mean a lot. It would mean a lot to her to know that. All right, everybody, come snuggle me on the couch. Hey, everyone, come over here for a minute. Let's get a photo to remember this. Arrange yourselves on the sofa. An excellent suggestion, Shepard. Great idea. I want a copy. Make way! Make way! Thanks for coming, everyone. Here's to <laughs> you us. You heard the man. Ready, Cliff? Make way! Of course. If you could all please direct your attention this way. Okay. Everyone cheese. say Normandy. Normandy! Normandy. Cheese! Aw, look at us. Look at how beautiful we all are. That warms my heart to see. Before we all inevitably die to the Reaper invasion, this was the highlight of my life. And I had such a good time. <laughs> Classic morning music. Mm. It turns out you that seen one thing primitives are good at. Octuple? Not a word. Oh no! Did we snuggle through the night? Javik, you dog. It takes two to tango, though. I'm... I'm as much at fault here. Alright, war asset, Normandy SR2. What's this? Shepard, hope you're well. New mission on Tuchanka could end things. Oh. Made preparations. Asked friends in STG to leave this with you next time you were off duty. be with us. Some of my older work. Performances, stories, merely entertainment. But entertainment useful at times. Good luck. In prophase, you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. In metaphase, their centromeres align to make new homes. In anaphase, they separate. Then telophase arrives. And when cytokinesis this is comes, my favorite present. Lives. Hello, Perry the Pijack. Happy to be here. Science fun today. Very respected. Perry the Pijack. Now, children. Science key to advancement, but can seem esoteric, indirect. Practical demonstration helps. Release the Varen. <laughs> Release the Varen on the children. Better, but can be incapacitated with common household chemicals. Observe. Wait, please move Perry the Pijack away from Varen. Puppets similar to prey could trigger attack instinct. Ah. Problematic. Is Perry the Pijack alive? Struggling counterproductive. Sedative should stop it. Or not. Not attacking. Mating instinct, of course. Oh, no. See, children, key to science is testing hypotheses, making observations. Next hypothesis, attempt neural shock. Ah, neural shock, clearly effective. Heard the pie jack, also clearly made of flammable material. Any questions? <laughs> it's 
was one hell of a science demonstration, but the children have learned too much about the world in the last 20 seconds. Too, too much. Hell yeah! With two hydroxyl groups, you'll find serene and threonine. For sulfur, look to cysteine or to methionine. For bases, you have arginine, lysine, and histidine. From protein, we are formed. Now the aromatics! Everybody now! And tyrosine and phenylalanine. Aspartic and glutamic are both acids, as we've seen. Or am I C asparagine and also glutamine? From protein, we are formed. Bravo. Bravo, sir. I'm so glad Morden got to be at the party. We missed him. We missed him desperately. And as we... Ooh, somebody's... Somebody's passed out in there. I'll be right in. We missed our Morden. So desperately. And I'm glad to have a little piece of him. Omega. Sky was color of fit cam tuned to a dead Vorcha. Business so bad that if Volus would have sold my suit... Then trouble Doppler shifted deep Asari blue as it came through my door. Likely Elcor father. High it's gravity like a adapted to all he was right places. On? Asari said Krogan thug after her business. If could get rid of him, said she'd be grateful for all eternity. Found Krogan in slums. First shot hit primary heart. But Krogan had redundant nervous system. Felt redundant nervous myself. Krogan got me in stranglehold. Used incineration attack. Got lucky. Said this was an easy job, he gasped. Guess we'd both been burned. This is a sorry, very grateful. Really read her like open book. And as it happened, did enjoy reading in bed. Oh my woke up looking at barrel of pearl handled carnifex. My M98 another room. Another black widow standing over me. Only loose ends left, she said. Her mistake. Didn't know I'd been in STG. Learned tricks dirty enough to clog a quarry and soup filter. <laughs> Your barrier is very similar to your morals, I said, and threw my biotic grenade. Warped. When woke up from explosion, Asari had fled back to afterlife. Felt lucky not to be in afterlife myself. Hadn't been paid, but considered self-fortunate. Had broken Omega's one rule in more ways than one. I need the rest of that novel. Please send it to me. Why would you make me cry like this? <laughs> Why would you do this to me? Maybe next time. Until then, we'll stick to patter songs. In prophase, you see chromatins condensed to chromosomes. In metaphase, their centromeres align to make new homes. Rest in peace, my love. Javik, did you just stumble out of bed with me and collapse in the bathroom in a pool of your own sick? You didn't get sick in the pool, did you? Oh, good. Um, get, can I can I get you some eggs? Oh, is it time to rule the galaxy now? Yes. Kneel before Jack. Hey, that's what you said I last night. I had a dream. Fifty thousand years had passed. It was horrible. I was alone. Primitives had evolved. They ruled oh, the galaxy. That's real. Solarians. Terrians. Oh, yes, sorry. I have awoken back into this horrible nightmare. There was one. The Yara. And those eyes. And that voice. She was blue. No, no. It was just a dream. It's just a dream. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep, Javik. You're at the height of the Prothean Empire, and everything is fine. And the Reapers have not killed all of your people frozen you for 50,000 years. Primitives do not rule the galaxy. Oh, I smell primitives. <laughs> oh, it was no dream. <laughs> There's something so beautiful about the purity of that. I smell primitives. It was no dream. 
All right. Uh, I'll, I'll clean up later. It's fine. It's fine. Hey, you two. How was your night? Where'd you end up? When did you get into the hot tub? When did you get out of it? And how much were you wearing, Garrus? Did we, uh, break anything last night? I don't suppose you need anything around here calibrated. There's definitely one thing I can think of that I need yeah, calibrated. Yeah, okay. Maybe I should just <clears throat> stop saying that word. But only if Liara stops saying, By the goddess. <laughs> Stereophonic. Was someone making tea? I could use I can make some tea. tea for you. I can jump right on that. The apartment seems so quiet now. It's nice, isn't it? The calm after the storm? The apartment seems so quiet now. It does. You, you've you said that. Good thing this place has extra bathrooms. Liara takes forever to do her oh, because of hair or whatever she calls it. I thought for a second you just loved pooping in multiple places. And I, I was going to ask why, but no, I understand now. I understand now. Samara, that seems deeply uncomfortable in your tuchus. Would you like a scatter cushion? Shepard, good morning. Maybe having discomfort in the Tukus is all part of the meditative experience? I want to thank you for inviting me here. Anytime. Samara, open door policy, my love. It was good to see everyone again. It really was. It really, really was. Hey, Tali. Do you need some eggs? Tea? I'm going down to take care of everyone. I do for you. I am going to die. <laughs> you did you did have a couple drinks and I, I know that the aftermath is painful, but you're gonna get through this. And we're here for you. I didn't know you could go through that many toxin filters in one night. Do I have a tattoo? I remember do something you? about a tattoo. Let me check. Roll over, let me check. Don't get me wrong. Great party, but... Ugh, yeah. Mm. No problem. Take your time, Tally. I'll just be here. Right here. Forever. <laughs> let me know if I can get you anything. Maybe just some dry toast. And a 7-up. Jack, you're trying to beat my record? I think you, you easily could. And Jacob, I see you've you've positioned yourself right in Jack's eyeline. Like a bird trying to spread out his plumage and shake it, shake it for the ladies. You really want to catch that eye, huh, Jacob? Well, you've got it, buddy. Shepard, I was just going to lift some weights. Want to join? No. <laughs> no, I do not. I've been down this road... And it ends in tears. My traps are f***ing killing me. feel fantastic. Me. How about everyone else? Hey, Jack. Need somebody to spot you? Hey. You look like shit. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know the best part of an overcharged biotic amp? No hangovers. You know you're... You're using your wrists, right? You're, you're aware of that? That's... One hell of a trick. I don't I don't know how you're doing that. Did you super glue yourself to the pole? As sort of a motivating scheme? I'm impressed as hell. Even normal biotics get hangovers, but I can drink until I puke and still wake up just peachy. Must be nice. I'll go tell Tolly you said that, you jerk. I mean Jack, sorry, I misspoke. That was fun. You guys even kept up with me there for a while. Enjoy your workout. Try not to break the bar by doing so many pull-ups and shattering my record. Oh, James, you're already making the eggs that I crave. Thanks, man. Thanks, Grunt. You okay? Last time I saw you, you were... You were tearfully reenacting a scene from Blade Runner. I think I broke my head on something last night. 
me some kisses. Bathroom is all cleaned up, Shepard. Mm -hmm. Good as new. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's gonna be okay. Mm -hmm. Shepard. Oh, you're a good boy. Caden. Now that was a great time. I know, right? You almost got a little aggressive in your de-slinging contest with our friend James over there. You you were gonna push him off the balcony in a manner that Liara was not prepared to do, and I'm glad that you stood down. I'm proud of you for suppressing all of your instincts. And you're also a little cutie. There's coffee. Who wants coffee? I want coffee. More coffee? Am I being too loud? <laughs> I'll take some coffee. Yes, please. Be right with you guys. Eighty. Staring despondently out the window. Did everything go okay with Jeff? We'll get to you. James, these eggs. Put them in me. Put it in me, okay, James. Okay, who wants eggs? They want are. your eggs. eggs. Trainer. Esteban. Eggs? Joker. Where is that guy? Caden, here's some eggs to go with that coffee. Where's that guy? Rex, buddy. Eggs? Want some eggs with Tally? that coffee? Ah, she'll definitely want eggs. Javik, man, you gotta try my eggs. <laughs> Stop Anyone saying else? eggs. Garrus, <laughs> you know my eggs. <laughs> You've listed every person in the apartment and shouted eggs at them. And I really appreciate everything you're doing right now. Shepard? Eggs? Yes. Yes, eggs. James, eggs. Samantha, your hand is on fire. I would step back. I would step back right now. That looks deeply painful, and you're gonna regret it. So, last night, I didn't... do anything, did what I? What do you mean? Do you have any memories of satin sheets? Naked? Rolling? With, uh, Edie's voice? Does that ring a bell? I'm checking extranet sites. Oh, you're good. No hits yet, so... Maybe I just imagined that uh, last part. What last part? What do you think you did? I'm almost sure someone was recording us, though. Oh, yeah. I mean, Kasumi was here. She was definitely in the corner recording us. Oh, I should probably talk to Edie. <laughs> or, alternatively, I should alternatively, never talk just to Edie ever Never, never again. talk to her again. No, she's forgiving. It's be fine. not my fault. I was over. She loved it. Hey. Hey. If there's one thing I can guarantee, at one of my Admiral Anderson's apartment parties, you will always be overserved. Especially when it comes to the eggs. Joker. <laughs> Need me to get like an old-timey horse trough for you? Dunk you in there a couple times, you okay? Hey, Commander. Hell of a night. How do your hips feel? So I've managed not to throw up. Feeling Can pretty you feel good your that. hips? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't encroach on Edie's territory like that. Look at all of us, these beautiful people. Edie and Joker just locking eyes with one another. Madly in love. James being a little too formal for the type of picture that this is. Mm. So much to love. Grunt is back there like, What? What, you wanna step to this? <laughs> and I do. I do wanna step to it. But in a while, in a manner most loving. About time. You live past 700. You start paying for a night like that the next Oh, tell me about it. I'm in my early 30s, and I think I have back pain that will never go away from the way that I slept. Shepard, good to see you up. Hope I didn't wake anyone up with my snoring. I go like a buzzsaw since I got my nose broke. Did Samara break your nose after you would not stop calling her sweetheart last night? Is that what happened? You buzzsaw? By the way, you're almost out of bacon. Our bacon, anyway. There's still some of that dextro shit in the freezer. I saved you three strips. Figured it was fair payback for all the times you saved mine, right? Three strips is plenty. Thank you. That was very sweet of you to think of me, Zaid. Even as you were stuffing your face with all of my bacon that I paid for. Shepard? 
Love you, buddy. Cortez! Cortez! How are you doing, my man? Mm, morning, Shepard. Hope you slept well. You look like you did. Everyone else is in a state of disarray. But you look just as fresh as a daisy. Oh, I would have thought What's all your those secret? tequila shots with James would have prepared me for last night. What a night. We should never end it. I know, right? Thanks, Shepard. All right, Edie, tell me what you see. You scanning license plates for minor traffic offenders? Or are you, like, connected to all of the intergalactic banking systems and you're making me the cheddar cheese right now? Some neighbors came are you cheesing me? Complain about the noise. I put their bodies in the building incinerator. <laughs> good one, Edie. Right? It is a good one, right? That was a joke. Worried for a second there. I have nothing else to report. I recommend breakfast. Hey, Edie. Eggs? Eggs, Edie? Cortez, eggs? Kasumi, there you are. Alright, show me the footage. Show me the footage you got. Play it back on your hand thingy. Let me peek at that Omni tool. Morning, Chef. You went all out with the breakfast supplies. Yeah, you would think so, but there's there seems to be only three strips of bacon? Some sort of oversight on my part, I guess, when I was purchasing supplies. Can't think of any other explanation. Can you, Zaid? I didn't know you could get real milk on the Citadel. I had some. Thought it was soy. Are you lactose intolerant? In which case, I'd like to apologize that I didn't label the milk properly. I'm not really lactose intolerant. I just don't put up with lactose's stupid drama. <laughs> I just don't put up with it. I love it. <laughs> In case I don't see you again, thanks. That was a lot of fun. In case I don't see you again, please turn off your cloaking device so that I can ogle you. I should go. Stupid dairy products. That's fair. There's an empty restroom downstairs. It's fine. I won't tell. I won't tell anyone. Also, send me that footage. Send me the footage. Is that everyone? We've communed with Morden from across time and space. We've given everyone our very, very best eggs and grunt our forehead smoochies. Samantha's hand is actively on fire still. Jack is beefier than ever. And Edie has made us a small fortune in stolen credits. I don't think I could ask for anything more. How do I... end this? One wonders. Do I just leave? You guys have fun. Enjoy the dip. I'm gonna leave. Check what my journal says. About the said party. No? Nothing about said party? Okay. Is it a completed mission? Citadel party. I guess I guess we're done. Eggs all around. We are at two hours and thirty three minutes into our session. I'm so glad the connection slash audio seems to have held. It's been a little hard to get going here lately. I am going to save it while the eggs remain, to enjoy the afterglow of breakfast as long as possible. And I will see you back here for our primary mission. The war, the ongoing war with the Reapers next time. But what a lovely little detour this was. To catch up with everyone, to gently hold Grunt as he sobbed in the shower. I couldn't have asked for a more lovely shore leave with you all. Thank you for your time, for being yourselves, and I will see you soonish. Bye for now. Bye!